A new asteroid alert. NASA reveals major space rock is set to skim Earth this weekend. The space rock, known as 220 AB2, is approaching our Earth and will be flying near our planet on Sunday, January 12th. AB2 is traveling at 7.9 kilometers per second, mind bending 28,440 kilometers per hour. At that speed, the asteroid will be able to make it from London to New York in only six minutes. For reference, a Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird, the fastest jet ever built, could not even reach New York from London in an hour. At 49 feet in width, the asteroid is almost as long as a double-decker bus and is three times as tall. At its closest point, the space rock will be just 0.011 AU, astronomical units away from Earth. One AU is about 93 million miles. AB2 will be one million, uh, one, uh, just about 1.5 million kilometers from Earth. While this may seem like a sizable distance, it's close enough for NASA to sit up and take notice, calling it a near-Earth object. The U.S.-based Space State Agency classified 220AB2 as a near-Earth object, NEO, allowing the space agent to study the history of our solar planet. NASA said on its Jet Propulsion Laboratory website, NEOs are comets and asteroids that have been nudged by the gravitational attraction of nearby planets into orbits that allow them to enter the Earth's neighborhood. The, scientists, the scientific interest in comets and asteroids is largely due to their status as relatively unchanged remnant debris from the solar system formation that uh, took place about 4.6 billion years ago. These giant outer planets of Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune formed from an agglomeration of billions of comets and the leftover bits and pieces, the debris from this formation, are the comets that we see today. Also, today's asteroids are the bits and pieces left over from the initial agglomeration of the inner planets. They include Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. And at 49 feet, this asteroid will bring back memories of the Chelyabinsk meteor that struck over Russia in 2013. That was 65 feet in uh, diameter, it smashed windows and uh, caused damage to over 7,000 buildings. Over a thousand people were injured from that. Experts had not anticipated this incident. It was uh, the Chelyabin speeder came in um, unknown, and uh, it was leading the fears of the, that the Earth could be surprised by a more devastating asteroid strike in the future. Now, chances of a major asteroid hitting the Earth are small, according to what NASA believes. There is one in 300,000 chance every year that a space rock could cause regional damage if it hit, and the devastating prospect is not impossible. NASA is right now studying asteroid Bennu, where the Osiris-Rex spacecraft arrived last year. It's trying to get a sample and bring it back so that we can test it, find ways of mitigating or pushing away asteroid Bennu, from its path um, inbound towards our Earth. Part of the reason NASA is sending Osiris Rex is to gather more information about the asteroid, which is 1,640 feet in length. And NASA fears that that asteroid, which has the potential to wipe out the country, a country on Earth, could hit our planet within the next 120 years with the next close flyby in 1,235. This is on Express UK by Sean Martin. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on, not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. 
Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.